One fish species anglers in Wyoming are eager to catch more of is kokanee salmon. The Wyoming Game and Fish Department has responded to that and now stocks over 1.5 million kokanee around the state each year. The department would like to have wild brood sources around the state to supply eggs for raising kokanee, and Lewis Lake, or Louis Lake near Lander, is hoped to be one of those places. But results have been mixed. On this night, the department sampled Lewis Lake to evaluate how the kokanee are doing. Lander game and fish biologist Paul Garrity. So we're trying to evaluate our kokanee population, uh, both get a population estimate and also we want to know the contribution of stocked versus wild fish. We know kokanee will run up Lewis Creek uh, to spawn. They may or may not spawn on the Lake Shoals also. We don't know about that yet but we want to know if there's any natural reproduction and if there is natural reproduction, we can maybe uh, back off the stocking a little bit and see if this fishery can just be maintained by wild fish. The department used a hydroacoustic sampling process that counts fish down deeper in the water. Transducers send out sound waves that ping where a fish is. The number of fish for each surface acre is multiplied with the number of acres measured for a more precise count. Midwater Nets biologist set helped determine species composition of fish detected during the hydroacoustic survey and provide fish for stomach and age analysis. Game and Fish began stocking kokanee at Lewis Lake in 2015, and anglers here have enjoyed the opportunity. Keeping a kokanee fishery vibrant means checking for potential impacts from other species, so another part of this evaluation is seeing whether lake trout are affecting the kokanee. So right now we don't know if it's sustainable to have both a quality kokanee salmon fishery and a large lake trout fishery. We're going to be looking at lake trout diets to see if they are in fact eating kokanee. At the same time, the population estimate that's for kokanee that's being done tonight, if we have a good estimate of kokanee in Lewis Lake, then that tells us that the lake trout aren't having a substantial effect on the kokanee population. Conversely, low kokanee numbers and kokanee in lake trout diets may prompt management changes. The department simply wants to know whether having a fishery with both fish is sustainable. Statewide creel limits apply to both kokanee and lake trout at Lewis Lake. For kokanee, it's six. For lake trout, it's also six, but no more than one of those can exceed 24 inches. Lewis Lake presents one of the more serene locations for outdoor lovers. And before cool weather rolls in, take a late season trip to the region and check it out. With the Wyoming Game and Fish, Ray Hageman, Wyoming News Now.